Hey gamers, Ty Talk TM here. What's up? Today I'm making chicken frances, which is Italian for. What if planets were big tuna cans, and 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 God was was the fisherman, like from that one SpongeBob episode? It's buttery, lemony, cheesy chicken. It is good. We are going to make it. Acquire some breasts. First thing you're gonna want to do is carefully cut the bountiful bosom into two thin halves. Frances is a light dish, so thin honkers will make a more delicate meal, along with a quicker cooking time. Prepare the rest of your chimkin the same way. I myself have three boobies here. Did you know that these feathery little flightless animals experience REM sleep? So they sort of have sweet dreams, just like us humans. They also have pain receptors. Anyways. After beating your meat with a mallet or any old pot you might have, give the same treatment to the rest of your hens. This sounds so neat at high speed, you know, all this hitting reminds me an awful lot of my stepdad. Next, pat your widow bag for keeping your mallet clean. Then cut his tiny artificial heart in half and tear him to shreds. Oh, and wash the blood off of your hands. I will now play copyright-free music as I pour the ingredients into a shallow dish in pre-measured portions. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Three tablespoons of freshly shredded Parmesan cheese. Two teaspoons of salt. Two cups of freshly shredded Parmesan cheese. Two teaspoons freshly ground black pepper. 87 metric tons of parmesan. Next, beat two whole eggs. The tinier the whisk, the better. This is taking too long. Good thing I know some magic. My Sakurajima from Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl sent by in her light blue winter jacket as seen in the promotional art from the anime. What are you? Rip off anime figure of Saber from the hit Fate anime series with an enlarged chest. Um. Rhea Scrummery in her limited. Wait, no. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 okay. okay, 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 okay. Um. Eggs. Now for the breading stage, although it may be different from what you're used to. First, place the titular tatas into the flour mixture, ensuring that you shake off any excess. Like that. Then, dip your floured friend into the eggs, ensuring an even coating. Where this differs from most recipes, however, is that rather than breadcrumbs or something similar, you will dip the poultry right back into that cheesy flour. Press down firmly to allow the mixture to adhere. Notice how I use one hand to touch dry, then the other hand for the wet parts. This is important to keep my hands from looking like Sandman from Spider-Man 3 as he disintegrates. I've noticed that the same technique also works when I'm having sex with your mother. Set a pot of water to boil for your pasta. Remember, it should be salty, like the ocean. Very salty, extreme. Salt, 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 salt. How's the salt content looking, Sai? Oh yeah! Ignore the first batch that I made off camera, then add a few tablespoons of butter to a pan over medium heat. Drizzle in some olive oil, too. You can change the oil to butter ratio as desired, but use at least 25% butter to ensure good coloring on your food. You know, I used to be really good at that pool game chicken. You know, the one where you clam on your front shoulders, yeah. I wonder if we need an animal after that weird children's game. How odd. Slowly lay your fowl into the pan once your butter oil mix is bubbly. Refrigerating your cock after coating for 15 minutes really helps to keep the coating on, but I'm stupid, so I didn't do that. Your breasticles will be firmer on one side once you can flip them, and it'll also free a little space for another one. Notice how the other two would be fine on their own without the third, like my mother and I without Derek. Get away from my mom, you freak! Reserve the excess butter after the meat is finished. It should be lighter than this, but most of my cheese fell in because I didn't refrigerate my coated birds like a dumb Add a couple cloves of finely minced garlic and mix. 
Add a couple tablespoons of all-purpose flour to make a roux, mm -hmm. which I believe is French for toaster oven. It'll also stop flour clumps in our sauce. As a brief aside, I was told by my grandmother that I should throw pasta against the wall to check if it is done. As per usual, I am completely unsurprised that something that makes no sense did not work. Now we need to deglaze the pan with about a cup of white cooking wine. Squeeze in the juice of one to two lemons, using your hand to act as a sort of strainer against lemon seeds and lemon pulp. Pour in a few cups of chicken broth, and then stir until the sauce is homogenous. Add in a couple tablespoons of butter we left in our freezer. It's actually gonna help with the emulsification process, which I don't understand either. It probably means photosynthesis or something, but it'll make the sauce creamy and moist. God, I miss her. Why is the screen black? Oh, yeah, then you're done by the way.